This is a little Raspberry Pi camera project that uses a Python GUI and Google's Coral Edge TPU AI uh, processor to identify some objects in nature. Take a quick look at the hardware. This is based on the Pi 3B Plus board. It's got a 2.8 inch TFT screen, a touchscreen from Adafruit. Inside here, the uh, this battery expansion board in red and battery and the case came bundled together on Amazon for only $20. Uh, really a great buy. And you can see the case just fits this little project perfectly. And the expansion board, the battery expansion board, also comes with a, a nice little on-off switch here, which uh, very, very handy. I'm going to turn this on. There we go. Uh, last but not least, in terms of the hardware, is the uh, is Google's Coral AI uh, Edge TPU Accelerator. It's a uh, USB thumb drive, about the size of my thumb. There it is on the other side in there. Cost uh, seventy-five dollars. Uh, and on top here is just a little um, a generic Pi camera for like twelve dollars. Uh, with regard to the software, uh, I've written GUIs in uh, Java, JavaScript, C++, but never in Python. So I found a nice little uh, demo Pi camera, uh, Python script, uh, on the Adafruit website that was uh, very handy in getting me started with this. And there's also a very nice uh, article in uh, Magpie Volume 79, it's entitled Building a Teachable Machine with Edge TPU. And it shows you how to install the TensorFlow Lite software and introduces you to some uh, demo uh, scripts that uh, Google supplies. Uh, just a bit more about the Coral Accelerator. In this case, um, it's doing turbo classification processing of uh, pre-built TensorFlow Lite visual model objects. TensorFlow Lite uh, refers to on-device neural network libraries uh, that Google has developed. Um, what's uh, actually going to happen is that the accelerator will be passed a photo and it will return text if possible describing the object in the photo and the relative confidence score. If it can't uh, detect an object it'll return text say, uh, basically saying so. Also it could return uh, text describing more than one object if uh, uh, a particular object isn't uh, of sufficient, doesn't have sufficient confidence. Let's take a look at the program. Uh, get this up here. Better view of it. No, that's not too bad. I'm going to click on the um, I'm going to click on the icon for the What's That uh, Python script. And the, uh, the UI runs. I'm going to move this background out of the way for a moment. Um, so the, the main window here is just a, a viewfinder. And the idea is that you uh, are set up so that you, if you click on the center of the screen... Uh, Click on the center of the screen, it'll take a picture and it'll be stored in a photo gallery that's uh, designated to a particular folder on the Pi. The other two icons here, uh, this is a settings icon and then of course an icon to uh, close the app. So let me put the, put the background back up and this up here and we will click on the, um, click on the settings icon. And Google provided several demo models to use to try out with the uh, Coral, the HTPU um, accelerator. And um, f there's three of them that has to have that are models of uh, nature in uh, North America. One is North American birds, another is North American plants. And another one is North American insects. I think there's uh, about a thousand birds and a thousand insects, and two thousand plants in the models. Um, right now, this is I'm going to start with birds here. 
select birds and then click on the check mark. And if I go to my gallery, oops, there's Freddie, my cat. We don't want that. I, uh, it's very, it's almost impossible in the wild, obviously, with a $2 uh, crappy camera with no zoom to get pictures of birds in the wild. So I downloaded some nice pictures that I took with a, with a good camera and also some pictures from the web. Um, so I'm in the gallery when I want to, I try to identify a picture. I click on the little brain icon here. This is now sending the processing over to the Edge TPU processor. And it comes back with what it thinks it is. It says the belted kingfisher, which is correct, and with a 96% confidence level, which is, you know, almost certainly that's what the, the processor thinks it is. I set a threshold of at least, must have at least 30% or it, it won't come back with anything. Now let's take a look at another one here. Uh, let's try that one. I'm going to click on the brain. That's a western tanager. A little bit less confident, 74%. Let's do one more here. Yeah, let's try a different one. Yeah, I know this is a Baltimore Oriole. Let's try the brain. And yes, Baltimore Oriole, and pretty confident, 91%. There's one I want to show you here that it misses on. It's this one. Let's click on the brain. And you can see this comes back thinking it's a mountain chickadee with only a 30% confidence level. And that's interesting because this is actually a bridal titmouse. And although the, the mountain chicken and the bridal titmouse have very similar markings and colors in the same places, the mountain chickadee does not have a crest. So the coral AI processing was smart enough to know that the crest is an important feature and that the fact that the mountain chickadee uh, doesn't have it in their model, it, the reason that this only got a 30% confidence level. I'm guessing, I didn't look, but I'm guessing that the bridal titmouse is not in the model. Uh, click the brain here, one more. Uh, you, it takes about three seconds for the identification to come back, and the governor on that is not the Raspberry Pi or the uh, Coral Accelerator. It's actually the very slow USB on uh, Raspberry Pis right now. It's uh, they're all 2.0. If you use the accelerator on a, a 3.0 or a USB C port, uh, it comes back literally in in well under a under a second. So these have all been uh, birds that I pictures that I've downloaded or taken myself with a nice camera. The cool thing about the Coral accelerator is that it's truly on the edge. You don't need Wi-Fi for it to work. So you could take this thing out in the wild and um, take a picture, not of a bird, like I said, because <laughs> you can't take a picture of a bird with this crummy camera, but with plants, you can do it. So let's give that a shot right now. I'm going to go out in my front yard and take a few pictures and see if it can identify some plants. Okay, we're out in the wilds in my front yard. I've always wondered what these little, little guys are. They're, I didn't plant them, so I assume they're North American wildflowers. Might not be. Um, it's going to be hard to do with the glare and stuff. Oh, that's not bad. So I'm going to try to get a clear picture here. The way this is set up is if you, from the, oh, I need to go to, oh, plants is set. Okay, good. Uh, if you push from the middle of the, the uh, main screen on the GUI, push in the middle, it'll take a picture. Let me make sure this is pretty clear. So I'm going to take a picture. Picture shows for a moment. And then you can go to the gallery. And there's our picture. I'm going to click on the brain, see if it could identify these. Pacific Hound's Tongue. Huh. I have no idea. I know a lot more about birds than I do about plants. So it, it got a pretty high percentage, too. Hmm. Um, since this is so hard to juggle the, the glare and stuff out here, I'm going to take a few pictures of a few more things 
and then we'll look at them inside. Um, there's a couple of ferns here. There's a fern. There's another one over here. And these little daisy-like things. So I'll take a picture of that, and then we'll go back inside and um, see if it could identify them. Back indoors, let's uh, take a look at the plant pictures we just took. Boy, a lot of glare. Um, well, you can at least see the icons. I'm going to click on the gallery icon. There's a Pacific Hound's Tongue that we just took a picture of. Let's look at the others I took. These are those little daisies. See what it says. English daisy, 68%. I'm not sure how the processing, the AI processing, processing deals with size. These are little tiny um, daisy or daisy-like plant uh, flowers, so I, I'm not, I don't know how it can tell the size. I'm not, I'm not sure English daisy's right. Uh, let's look at another one. This I know is a maidenhair fern. Let's click on the brain here. Black maidenhair fern, 71%. One more. I took one more picture of the, another fern. See what it says. Black tree, tree fern, 56%. Um, I think you'd have probably better results with a, a better camera. This little $12 uh, camera, I'm sure, distorts color and is blurry. And uh, maybe even the official Raspberry Pi camera would get better results. One thing that does work great on the edge outside is the battery. I get like, boy, an hour to hour and a half full-time use with both the TFT screen and the Coral Accelerator, which I thought was pretty amazing. Uh, that's about it. Uh, this uh, little camera project was fun to work on. Uh, I hope you uh, found the uh, video interesting. I will put up links to the hardware and software I mentioned uh, in the video. Thank you for watching.